So this is vlog number one of week two. Uh, it basically just consisted of readings from pop culture. Uh, so we can talk about uh, Barber's essay. Uh, it uh, clearly shows that it is about capitalism through selling products that target the rich who can pay for it. Uh, Barber highlights the desires of rich with the necessities of poor. Uh, products are being manufactured following the guidelines of the rich's wants while building their relationships further, making it harder for the poor to afford anything. Um, it is easy for the rich to live because of how society cast is casted around them. Uh, the capitalism in this country further worsens because of the ability of the riches to resell or purchase with ease. The poor have no option to sell because they really don't have anything, but uh, they also can't purchase because they simply can't afford it. Uh, media and culture both follow capitalism through advertisement um, based off of the riches and leaving out the poor. Uh, we then have Let's uh, Let's's essay, which is uh, persuading the reader of a hoax of a world that we live in. Uh, he speaks on the subject of advertisement and what companies are doing to blind you. Uh, one big thing that the companies do to trick consumers is the smart use of odd language that tricks the mind. Uh, in quotes, weasel words, is what is used to diver divert your attention from the product of improvement. Uh, for larger companies, advertising is no accident. There are no misplaced words or mistakes. There are studies of what words can make people splurge money on pointless things. Let states that without studying and the smarts of advertisement, uh, you will never know uh, what you're being tricked into. Advertising is everything in the media today. It is being used everywhere you look, your phone, TV, videos, and just walking throughout stores. Uh, we then have Barth is his essay. Uh, it's basically, basically the argument against toys and how... Um, their targeted audience doesn't really make sense at this time. Uh, he basically talks about how toys, a few like uh, a few years ago, were made to encourage uh, curiosity and creativity, while now it is made to really encourage a child to grow up faster, because um, they are exposed to something like uh, cooking or working um just like in my own house we have a playset that mimics a kitchen and other examples could be like um male toys being a chainsaw or screws and hammers uh, we then have hose essay and uh, it was the purpose of uh, displaying a cult cultural appropriation that occurs in America through food. Uh, I have a personal connection with what she's speaking about because people try to find a way to connect with uh, Asian culture through food. Uh, food is a big part of my culture, so uh, what she uses to argue uh, American education and culture is unknowingly disrespecting other cultures. Uh, American culture has the habit of exaggerating one's food, ignoring the culture or the religious stance. Uh, I'm Cambodian, and everyone that comes to me always asks, uh, what food do you guys have there? And this is never really concerning about my culture, and in America you do not really see Cambodian restaurants because uh, we have no food that really originates from there. Uh, and then there were also two other readings, uh, Postural and Bryson. Uh, Postural basically rants about 
American appearance. Uh, Bryson talks about uh, also advertising and how failure should not be an option.